this is an uh, interactive exercise to sort the alkali and alkaline earth metals in their correct positions in the periodic table. If I do this correctly, I will be able to open this door. But I must not try a lot because I have only three tries. So, let me begin with the first alkali metal, alkali element, which is that one. I have to sweep, swap places, yes, this is lithium. The lithium has three electrons that are going circling around the atom. The circling around the core of the atom. <laughs> Maybe I should I have to be more specific if I can. And the fourth element is the beryllium with four electrons playing around the core of the atom. Uh, there is an atom puzzle in, on Planet 42 site. It's a game where we can see the atom structure, but this is for another lesson. Now, from here, there is a blank space in the periodic table on the second row where we reach the metalloid elements which I played in previous videos so now I'm going to the third row of the periodic table searching for the first al alkali element and here I see that it is just for confusion there are some transition metals here in the mix. Now I can use my short K to rotate the elements and here we go with the next alkali element which is the sodium. Yes, sodium appear in the table south so it is tasty sodium. Hmm. So now I'm searching for the element number 12, which is alkaline earth metal. I don't know why they are metals, but they are classified like metals. Well, they are actually beryllium and magnesium. Magnesium with 12 electrons. <coughs> Magnesium can be found in the green plant leaves. So actually, again, we are consuming a lot of magnesium every day, like sodium. Uh, I'm not sure if I can pronounce them correctly, but I will learn, I think. So, now what I want to do is to use my hint to sort the alkali elements and then I will search for the alkaline earth ones. Now that is potassium. Okay, R. That should be the next one. Now T. I will check them again. I want just to sort them so to be easier for me. And the next one is with I. Okay. I'm looking for a red one. Yes. Oh, this is radioactive. We must be careful though. So, I'm going to the row number four. The first element, alkali element, is the potassium. Then, have what you uh, I clicked a wrong K. Wait, I have to correct that. I stop jumping over that element 
Ah, there it is. Perilum. Now I have to press O. Uh -huh. To find the calcium. Okay, potassium and calcium are the 19th and 20th element of the periodic table, which are on the row 4. And they are alkal, alkali and alkaline earth element. Now the calcium is found in bones, in shells, almost in all living organisms. Uh, not almost in all, but in some. <laughs> and the potassium we consume from the vegetables. Now I'm going to the fifth row of the alkali and alkaline earth elements. And the first one with number 37 is the rubidium. Rubidium, what I see is that it is used for creation of fireworks. That's interesting. So we don't actually eat rubidium. And it has 37 electrons. The next one is element number 38. Let me find it. That should be an alkaline earth one. And that is strontium. Strontium, if we check in the old TVs, we can we may find strontium. Now, after that, we are going to the transitional metals, transition metals, which I played in previous videos. And now I'm going to the row. Six, seven, six, row six. <laughs> Can I count? <laughs> this is cesium with uh, 55 electrons, and uh, cesium is used for production of electronic clocks, like I see. The element 56 is the barium, and barium is used in the production of this new type of light bulbs. They are LED things that have uh, some, I think I, they have some kind of gas inside. Hmm? And after that, this is again the interesting things. After beryllium, the next element is an lanthanid element. And these elements I will sort in the next video. And finally, I'm in the last row of the alkali and alkaline earth elements in the periodic table. This is francium. It is radioactive. Now, the elements from the bottom row, I think they are all radioactive. So, don't look for them. Except you are professional. <laughs> of course. And the last one that I will sort for this game is the radium. Now it has 88 electrons and uh, what is interesting is and that we have to have in mind is that radium uh, may um, appear in some deep fishes. But I don't think it is enough uh, quantity to be harmful, but you never know, no. <laughs> so, I think I sorted <coughs> the alkali and alkaline earth element in their correct position. Now I will try to open the door and take my knowledge level. Yes, so they were correct. I got my knowledge level. There's no fun scroll for this game, but it may be in the future. Uh, this is the educational dosage for today.